Hi, my name is Jeanette Dopheide, and I'm a Bro Outreach Coordinator for the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. In this episode of The More You Bro, I'm going to show you the basics of using Bro Control, which is an interactive shell used to operate Bro installations. The most common installation of Bro is in a cluster. To learn more about setting up a Bro cluster, you can check out our video on our YouTube channel. This video will focus on how to manage your cluster using Bro Control and assumes you've already configured the OS, generated the SSH keys to access your worker nodes, and configured Bro's node.cfg configuration file. Let's start up Bro Control now. When pushing changes to production machines, you should get into the habit of running the check command before the install command. The check command reviews the policy files found in Site Policy Path and confirms whether they will compile correctly. Bro's install command is very useful. It will install Bro Control as well as remove old policies, copy changes to configuration files, and copy Bro's executables over to the worker machines in your cluster. The install command is used for more than just the first time installation. Anytime there are changes made to configuration files or site specific policy scripts, or upgrading bro or bro control, the install command must be run. Otherwise, none of your changes will take effect. Now that bro control is installed, we can begin monitoring traffic using the start command. In a cluster configuration, the start command will start the manager, proxies, and workers in that order. To check on the status of your machines, you can run the status command. All of my machines are running, but if one was showing a status of crashed, I can run the diag command, which gives me a summary of the machine's final state before it crashed. The restart command is used most often to restart workers after a change is made to the manager. The workers will not pick up these changes until they are restarted. The restart command should be used after the check and install commands have been executed. Adding the dash dash clean option will execute the stop, clean up, check, install, and start commands in the right order. To stop running your bro cluster, simply execute the stop command. Let's check out a few more helpful commands to use in Bro Control. The top command will show CPU and memory usage for each process. Press the Q key to exit this view. The DF command shows you the amount of free disk space available on the nodes. The exec command will run a command on each system for each process. It's a handy shortcut instead of logging into each system. The netstats command is useful to verify incoming traffic to workers. Finally, the config command will print Bro Control's environment configuration. This is a good learning tool to see what options are available. Thanks for watching our presentation on the basics of Bro Control. To learn more about using Bro, you can check out our website at bro.org, follow us on Twitter at bro underscore IDS, or check out more talks and presentations on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash bro platform.